Spanish. Anyway. Get him off. Beef is hooked in absolute proper fish. Welcome back for another episode. Just finished putting reefs in, he's just down there. We're gonna go in and zip in and shoot straight around this point. He's holding the boat now on the beach. We're in West Australia, Broome. Made the trek over from Darwin. We've got here, beautiful Broome. It's a great spot. Beaches are pristine. So yeah, we'll take you out. We were out yesterday for an hour. Um, so just a quick look around. Reese hooked a massive Spanish, absolutely huge. Hooked it, come straight up out of the water. He could, and it was going to bust him off anyway, Aggie weren't big enough for a fish like that. Turn his head, bit him, cut his line, gone. So we've got the big rods in today. That we found them there, but we'll still do some trolling. The sun's bright today. So we'll do some trolling for the Spanish, see how we go. Hopefully we get one, but who knows, the pelagics. Pelagics come and go, so they're a fish that for there today doesn't mean they're going to be there tomorrow. They're not like a reef fish. And then we'll do some reef fishing. We'll target all the coral trout and stuff on the bottom. Found some plastics, jigs, stuff like that. We'll see how we go with that. And now I'll take you for a run. Hopefully we get some fish. Beautiful weather. And I'll roll while I run down this beach. I'll quickly roll that queen fish I caught yesterday. It's a good fish. And yeah, we'll see you after that. Get him off. 
Reese has hooked an absolute proper fish. Come on, Trout. Come on, mate. Get this fish in and be a. Oh. Oh. No! Just under, I'm so upset, he was 35, maybe 38 here. Anyway, he went back with these here are what they call a poor man's trout. And I'll tell you what, they taste delicious. Caught a couple now, nothing like this guy. This guy is an absolute whore. So we're going to keep this guy and we're going to cook him up. And he's going to be delicious. Anyway, I'm going to tie a new leader because he has demolished my leader. I'm going to put a new plastic on. This might be what done you, Rooster, one of these. Yeah, probably. Reese had a big fish on and he just could not turn it on. Let's get this guy on ice. And you! Hey, that head is bigger than my head. Bigger than Reese's head. Tell you that, it's even uglier. I didn't think that was possible, but we found something uglier than Reese. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, retiring now. But look, yes, got to check. Just down here, he's traded all up here. But then, if you go three quarters of the way up the leader, it's all the way out there. So that's how much he was in. So, anyway, I need a whole new leader. But yeah, so always make sure you check your whole leader. Because otherwise, that next cast could be a fish like him and you'll lose him. Alright, let's get him, Rich. And we're back. Hello. We're in the kitchen again. So that's it. It got real rough out there. We come back. Didn't really feel much because I come back. Caught those few fish. And it got rough. So me and Reese come back because we we're getting hammered out there. We got roasted, burnt. Anyway, it's a good day. Here is Shay. But the cooking show again. You ready though? You yeah. excited? She's super excited. She loves doing these cooking shows. Thank you, darling. Yes, I do. Anyway, alright. Well, I'll let you. I'll let, 
I'll let Shay take you through what she's going to do. We're going to cook two fish today, so I'll let you see what she's going to do. Okay, so we're going to, Mark caught a queen fish, and we're going to make um, numus, which is a type of sashimi. So we'll do that first. So, you want to come down here? So Mark has already sashimi that up for us. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get a cup of vinegar, and we're going to pour that in here. We have to work it with our hands. So we just have to knead the fish. This partially cooks it. So we're gonna do this for a couple of minutes. So we've been soaking, kneading this for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to add lime juice and lemon juice. So we want half a cup of each. And then we're going to knead it again for another couple of minutes. So while that's in there curing, I'm just cutting up some spring onion. We're going to add this last. Okay, so now we're going to add one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of raw sugar. Ginger, and some chili. Just mix all that in. Add our spring onion. We have a messy job. Then we're going to cover this, and we—they're going to have that for dinner with their dinner tonight. So it will only be in there for three to four hours. But if you leave it for 24 hours, it gets better and better with time. So really, you should do it the day before. <laughs> three to four hours is fine, but it just gets softer. Um, the longer that you leave it. So this is the queen fish. Now we're going to start getting ready the, what's it called? Cod. cod. We're going to do the cod and we're going to make um, fish tacos with the cod. So yep. we'll come back shortly for that. So this is our queen fish numbers. I'm going to pop that in the fridge now. We'll give you a look in a couple of hours. Okay, so now we're going to start on the fish tacos. Mark has caught a really nice sized cod here. It's got some quite large fillets on it. Um, with the tacos, we don't want our fish in too large a section, or so they're too hard to stuff. So I'm gonna slice them up thinly, and I've made a flour here, just with some flour, thyme, and parsley, and just mixed it together. So I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my um, piece of fish, put them in the flour, and then I'm gonna pan fry them. You only want them about this size to fit on the tacos nicely. So I'll just go through and cut all this up. The 
a big fish. Mm. Yeah, a good size fillet, aren't they? Yeah. This is actually really um, good eating fish. It's very similar to um, trout, which is our favourite. But you wouldn't pick the difference if you didn't know. No, the kids wouldn't even know the difference. I mean, I wouldn't even know. If someone had prepared this for me, I would think it was trout. I'll just show you why he's got that on. Um, just pop it in here like this. It's just a very light coating. I'll go through and finish cutting all this up and then come back to you when I'm ready to cook. Alright, we're finished crumbing, well, flouring all of our fish. We only decided to do half of it. We don't like wasting fish at all and once you've cooked it, it's really hard to reheat it and it still tastes good. So we're just going to go with half today. So I've got my oil heating. This takes a couple of minutes each piece. You don't want to overfill your pan so your oil doesn't stay hot. I trust the wok. <laughs> Some good looking fella got for you. Yes. He only buys me kitchen utensils. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to give it a little check. Right, when we're checking our fish, we want it to be white. So we want to make sure it's cooked the whole way through. So I'll just show you. So it's white. And if I split it, it's white the whole way through. Which means that that's cooked. All right, so we've got our first lot ready. I'm gonna carry on cooking this big pile. And then we're going to get the salad stuff ready for the tacos, once I'm finished this. All right, Shay wants me to taste test the, the cod and give it a criticism. Have a go at this, it's so white. It's like the most perfect white flesh. Mm. That's beautiful. It's such, just such a good fish. It's almost like trout. All this close to trout, pretty much identical. They're just such a nice fish. The cod, good job, darling. You've done well with that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get the numbers out of the fridge for Mark to try. Here we go. The unraveling. That looks good. Look good. All right. Now, as a secret, Shay doesn't normally eat sashimi. She never eats sashimi. I'm going to get her to try it with us. So let's sit down and try it, darling. I'm scared. Nah, she'll be right. All right. Excuse the kids. You're getting kids running around everywhere. We're here at Caravan Park at Cable Beach. And our kids are out there going mad with all the other kids. Anyway, let's try a bit. I'm just going to dip my fingers in there. Mm, that's really good. Like, really good. You have to try something. That is really, really good. I'm scared. Like the best sashimi I've ever had. I would do this if I was you guys. This is absolutely awesome. Go on, get into it. Let's try it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Shay does not eat sashimi ever. I've never eaten it before. I don't like the texture, but that is delicious. That's beautiful. Namas for the win. Mmm, oh wow. So, look at that. It's actually cooked. Like, perfect. The longer you leave it, the better it gets. Mm. And it, mm. it's beautiful. That is so good. I'm gonna mug on this for a while. This is beautiful. I cannot believe how good that is. Thank you, Queen Fish. I'll be keeping a couple more of them for you, darling. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat a bit more of this before main served up. 
the camera all done and I'll just make marks for him. What do you, hard or soft? Mm, hard. Right. Please. Right, so I go lettuce. It doesn't really matter what order you put it in. We use um, garlic aioli. All right, looks good to me. Have a go at it, eh? Cod tacos. Thank you, Shay. Hmm. That's good. <laughs> I'm doing open. that. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, look at it. That's really good actually. Like really good. It all goes together well. It's mm. nice in like that hot environment, isn't it? Mm. Nice and fresh. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna keep eating this. Then I get him first. Then we'll get the kids ready and we'll feed theirs. <laughs> Alright, finish my hard one. I'm gonna get fat. That's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm looked after well, thank you darling. Anyway, we've finished the other one, we'll wrap this one up, shows maybe a nice soft one now. You can tell you don't wrap your own. <laughs> <laughs> Normally Shay even wraps my wraps for me. I don't know how to wrap it. I'm, I'm, I've got a mummy. Hmm. What's better, hard or soft? I don't know, the bath juice is good. Look at that. I don't know. Probably like the soft a bit better. It's so good. But can't explain how good that is. That is beautiful. Because so good to eat fish. And sustainable. Like, we only use half that cob. So we haven't used half that cod. Shay cooked half, we've still got half in the fridge, so we'll eat half tomorrow. That is cooked perfect, thank you darling. Shay has done a wonderful job again. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this catch and cook as much as we enjoy making it. I love catching fish and Shay loves cooking. So thanks for watching. Hope you're tuning in for more. There's heaps more coming. We're traveling, we're fishing, we've got heaps more coming. So keep watching guys, thank you. Thanks for watching. See you all later. Oh, do you want to try some of my mum's sashimi? Is it good? Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. See, that's for mum, because the camera's Come on. Here. The camera's on. Where is it? Yeah, the, ca the camera. Take it a piece. Hi. I'm going to grab a piece for everybody. Three, two, one. Please be good. Is that shashibi? Yeah. Namaste, it's cool. Mmm. What do you think?